Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Dynamics. And we're here finally, finally, with the second channel. This channel is called Boss Reactions. And we're doing reaction videos. Now, the thing is, is that I promised a few people that this would have came out last year. But uh, I basically took my time. I wanted to figure out what kind of design I wanted for it. You know, what type of uh, graphics I wanted to use, the editing, and so on and so forth. I want to be a little different from other reaction channels. So, uh, mostly, uh, just to just to put out there, we are covering paranormal, uh, mysteries, and anything of, like, you know, amazing, you know, stuff like that, you know, all the good stuff. So, we're going to be covering those videos. Uh, now, with this being the first episode, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try and run about maybe an hour-long uh, uh, review. So, um, uh, this one here, this is uh, Nuke's Top 5, okay? Um, so, Nuke Top 5, this will be the top 10... Or sorry, the top 20 scary videos uh, of the year. So um, this should be a good one. You know, you know, Nuke Top Five is like one of the best uh, YouTubers when it comes to like the paranormal, you know, and like ghosts and stuff like that. You know, spooky stuff. So uh, here we go. Um, it, anything with the uh, you know, web website or uh, the YouTube channel merch or anything like that, I'll I'll explain that at the end and all the link in description and below. If you look, if you look down, if you look down in the below, right, right above this uh, Goku Spirit Bomb. Uh, you'll be able to see all the links and uh, to everyone's uh, YouTube page for every video, and also, of course, Nuke Top Five. So here we go, uh, boss reactions. Turn off the lights and go full screen, cause it's the top twenty scariest ghost videos of the year. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get out. YouTube user Veronica Shannon says that she has been experiencing a terrifying haunting in her apartment. After hearing and seeing strange things around her home, she installed multiple security cameras. Things start out simply enough. Her cameras pick up some strange light anomalies. Yeah, she's and like, a few "Hey, odd sounds." She's like, "Hey, I heard sounds in the house. I got to install security cameras." Whoa, that was an apparition walking across the ceiling right there. Okay. That looks like an orb. Yeah, that's a spirit. It looks like a spirit to me. Oh, the dog senses something. See, the family pet seems disoriented, so... I don't know, that's... Yeah. Seemingly after Veronica starts paying more attention to the bizarre incidents and telling friends about them, things get a bit more intense. Her two young sons start waking up terrified and screaming every night at around 3 a.m. Every night around 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. is the witching hour. Oh, well, there's definitely something paranormal going on. Definitely. Okay. Things get even weirder. Yo, did a ghost just open a door for somebody? Nah, bro, this is fakery. They whipping up fakery in the bakery. This is fake. Come on, the ghost even dabbed. You ain't see that? The ghost dabbed. It opened the door like... It was like this. You ain't see a dab? The ghost dabbed. They don't see that? They don't see that ghost. They don't see that ghost walking right there in the middle of the room. They don't see that? Twice they catch some odd Look what? That seems to Look, appear it's dabbing right there. Look at it dabbing. Come on, bro. No, it's fake. The apartment. It's fakery. It's almost as if the spirit just doesn't want someone new there. One night, Shane, Veronica, and another friend decide to conduct their own informal sort of seance. It doesn't go well. Do you need help? Are you stuck here? Move the camera if you need help. They trying to talk to the ghost. Oh my god. Oh my Are you in the boys room? Shut up. Why would you try and talk to the ghost? You can't see it. There's something bad. I don't know. This might be fake. How the ghost doing everything they ask it to do? Like it's just conscious. Like they trying to have a conversation with it. Like sit down with us, have wine. <laughs> 
As Shane asks if the ghost is now in the boys' room, the children immediately start crying their eyes out. But then, when they rush to the door, something is preventing them from opening it. Yes, yeah, the ghost. You just asked out for one. To get inside to the crying boys. You can check out more of Veronica's story and videos over on her YouTube channel, Veronica Shannon. Catalina, I can't believe the ghost Catalina. dad, really? So everyone has heard right, of what's the this? This is something new. party game and the Charlie Charlie Challenge. But this next video features an odd supernatural game that I've never heard of before. Two girls are gathered in front of a creepy doll. Each time they recite a line, they light a candle at the doll's feet. And it didn't go well. Was it Spanish? Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. Oh, they're trying to summon a spirit in that doll. Oh, the doll moved. By a viewer who says the doll moved. On a random Spanish language <laughs> website. I searched for the source <laughs> or even a mention of this they got, Catalina Catalina they got creeped ritual out. that the girls are doing, but nothing showed up. So I leave it to you to decide: is this a haunted doll caught on camera, or is it all just an elaborate? It's supposed to be like Candyman. You decide. Say his name three times in the mirror. Yeah, this is, this is kind of like that. Like what up? <laughs> <laughs> Truth it's funny. and consequences. <laughs> this next clip was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Sarah Bransky. Okay, what's now, this? This video is shrouded in a bit of mystery in that I just can't seem to find the original video. And Sarah, who submitted the video, says that she's also searched all over for the original clip with no luck. So, oh well. The story goes that apparently the woman in the video was working the overnight cleaning shift in an old empty house. She claimed that she regularly experienced absolutely terrifying paranormal encounters during her nightly shift. But no one believed her. So, one night after being challenged by her friends, she went to the house, left off all the lights, really? and live streamed the whole thing to her friends on Snapchat. Yeah, it might be time for you to change friends. Right, I'm gonna go open this door now. <laughs> Let's send you to the haunted place and take video of it. Let's put it on Snapchat. That is me <laughs> putting my phone in my other arm. Right. Huh? Jack! What? What was that? God. Sounds like there's something in that bedroom. Sometimes it opens the door for you. I mean, if you're in there, can you open my door, please? That That's accent, nasty. though. <laughs> Can you open me door? Uh, what the? Uh, no, nah, bro. <laughs> no, <Nah>, bro. <laughs> Come on, Kelly, you've been here a thousand times. Come on. I'm going to go into Philip's bedroom now. I mean, it could have been somebody behind the door. It could be somebody behind the door, literally opening these doors. And since she's like an older woman, it's more believable. Now I want to go back down now. Okay. I want to go back down now, seriously, and I don't try to move. Uh, uh, hello? I'm sorry for camera checking, but it's... <laughs> this might be fake. I don't know. This might be fake. Big mistake, this doing this cleaning at night. Stupid mistake. Right, I'm, I'm coming back to the stairs. I don't... Ah! 
Come on, bro. <laughs> no, 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 mum. No, I don't want me, mum, because she's an ass, but there you go. Uh, really, yo, the ghost threw a teddy bear? Come on, I'm going to man up now. Well, the ghost threw a teddy bear. This is fakery. Now. Come on. They whipping it up. They whipping it up hard. Can anybody hear what I can hear? With the change moving in the background? Can yeah, I can hear it. Chris? That's it. That's it. That's really? It. That's it. I'm done. Let me go. The ghost don't change right, at just her. Just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. The ghost don't change at her. Just leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Hold this on. is fake. I'm going to shoot me soon. No, she a good actor, though. Right. I'm coming she out. a good I'm actor. She a good actor. Where? I'll give her that. This isn't funny no more. This is not funny. Why you ain't leaving then? Right, I've just shut door. I've just shut door. Bed, <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the I don't move. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bro, somebody I'm, probably I'm was in the room. Down. They just opened the door from inside the room. What the s was that? Eileen, I hope you're hearing this and that. Anne Marie, I hope you're all f***ing watching this and that swearing. I can hear tapping in that cupboard. I don't know where. Oh, I don't know where to go. Don't. I'm right. I'm gonna go on to landing. Oh. Come. Really? They really trying to just cap our heads up like that? All right. I think I've had enough. I want to go down. I want to go right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch because I'm gonna kick the f***ing teddy back. <laughs> you want to kick the teddy bear? Walter's All right. Running in the bathroom. Yeah. That'll make the ghosts get mad, even yeah, madder, right? So why would you kick the teddy bear? If it, is the... Bizarre enough, but what happens next is downright chilling. It, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I've shit it. I'm going. I'm just gonna ask the little girl that's in the little bedroom, Emma. I'm sorry for shouting, sweet. Will you open the door for me, please? Really? I have just seen some. I have just seen some. You didn't see nothing. Don't say. She trying to cap us up. You see that? Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. Who helped her make I'm this? Down. Who idea was this? Who idea was this to make this the video? Things I do for you a lot. A woman calls out to a little girl ghost named Emma that allegedly haunts one of the rooms. No response. She haunt all the There's rooms. There's a bang from a different bedroom, and when she turns, this. Oh, hold up. It looks like some pale figure that actually reflects the light is now standing at the door. That's a stuffed animal. But it quickly oh, ducks oh. back inside the room. That, it's like one of those those With Muppets this, you put on your hand. The woman has had enough. It's like a little Muppet she you put on your stream, hand. And just, gets and just, out of there. just peek around the door so, with it. Pull your hand back. Think? That's all Does it is. late night cleaner catch proof of her ghostly encounter on her Snapchat live stream? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It's a hoax. You Obviously. It's a hoax. That's not real. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, Fake or if you here. have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Yeah, guys, y'all need to go and hit up nukes. TikTok. Nukes top TikTok five. user Sabrina C. Coven claims that her apartment has a history of strange occurrences. Doors open and close on their own, and drawers slide open when no one is around. Then one night, Sabrina captures something absolutely shocking on her CCTV camera. At 5.41 in the morning, Sabrina's cat is Cats. quietly walking through the living room. When this happens. And cats can see ghosts. I think cats can see ghosts. I really believe that. Um, yeah. I used to have a cat. He used to always stare in the corner all the time. I was, what's it looking at? Whoa! Oh, did you see that? Yo, the, the ghost just gave the cat work. What, they, what is he doing to the cat? <laughs> Whoa! It just meowed hard. It growled. Oh, wait, wait. Yo, the ghost put in work on the cat. What? <laughs> it almost looks as if Sabrina's cat is thrown into the air <laughs> and then dragged into the dining room. Yo. The cat violently hisses I don't, as though it's being attacked. I don't know if this is fake. I don't know if this is fake. Well. I don't know. 
Then a chair seems to move from under the table all on its own. Look, the other cats and dogs. By the commotion and chicks to see they try to happened. jump up like what? Luckily, Oliver <laughs> well, they about to help out their homies. When Sabrina look. looks at the CCTV footage. She is baffled. Sabrina says that it would have been absolutely impossible for this heck? particular cat to leap into the air like that. I hope it's a ghost. I would hate to think they do that to their own cat. You know what I mean? Like one of its legs. Oh. So, what do you think could have happened to Sabrina's cat? So that cat was already missing a leg. Down in the comments. So it was impossible for that to happen. On camera. Zach from the YouTube channel Catch 'Em All Fishing has a channel dedicated to fishing and catching reptiles. Nothing creepy or nothing paranormal whatsoever. At least until this recent video. In the video, Zach is exploring an undisclosed location that he calls, quote, an abandoned underground city. He says that he is trying to find and capture a python, as the large snakes are drawn to warm, wet places like this. As he enters the dark building, he immediately feels like he's not alone. So, before I get too deep in here, I just want to let you all know I'm looking for snakes right now, for pythons. And honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. It's really creepy in here, and it's really big. Hello? That place looks spooky. As he explores the dark underground building, Zack is a little jumpy. And it turns out, he has reason to be. Dude. Oh, you hear that? It's like a bunch of people what? together. Zach hears strange moans coming from somewhere down the winding underground hallways. Up oh, time to leave. He decides to hide, thinking there might be someone else in there with him. So Bro, I'm going. As soon as I hear that, gone. Wish me luck, guys. What, what do you mean, wish me luck? What are you talking about? Bro. You in an abandoned building underground. And hear people moaning voices and talking. Stopped. The voices stopped, guys. Oh, so you're gonna stay down there then, right? Okay. So Watch, they're gonna wait for him to come into a room. Eventually, and they're gonna the they're gonna get stop, him. And Zach decides to make a break for it, leaving the underground tunnel system behind. But later, when Zach reviews his footage, he realizes that he caught something absolutely terrifying in one of his camera shots. What do you catch? It's leaking outside from somewhere. What a rusty wall. Okay. Hello. The bizarre figure of a pale man seems to be Whoa. staring at Zach from the darkness. Zach claims that he didn't even see the figure until he reviewed his footage later. Oh no. However, he says that throughout his entire exploration, he felt like someone was following behind him. So, is this strange pale figure a ghost caught on camera? Or was there just some creepy person stalking Zack throughout the tunnels? No, it's you the maintenance decide. man. It's just the maintenance man. That's all you it can is. Watch Zach's yeah. full video on his YouTube channel, mm. Catch 'em All Fishing. Burn after reading. This Thank next you. video was recorded by a Jordanian ghost hunter that I've never featured before named Mahmoud. In the clip, he's investigating an abandoned building that is said to be home to a powerful curse. As Mahmoud explores, he begins to find old crumpled pieces of paper inside the cupboards, but he pays them no mind. However, it seems almost as if someone or something is watching him as he explores the house's cabinets. And when he checks his footage later, he finds that there might have been yet another paper on a higher cabinet shelf that he couldn't reach. And this one almost seems to move on its own. And then, this is where things become 
truly bizarre. I don't know. Mahmoud finds a bright red paper inside one cabinet and decides to see what it is. This could be fakery. Yes, this could be fakery. I'm not sure. Wait, did the paper just burst on fire? <laughs> My man got out of there. The very floor beneath him seems to burst into flame. He makes a quick run for it. Later, when Mahmoud examines the strange paper that he found inside the house, he finds a series of strange symbols in an odd, indecipherable language. Was it a spell? So did Mahmoud find an actual curse scribbled on pieces of paper spread throughout the house? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? I don't know. That look kind of real. That look kind of real. Check out it could have been fake. video and his other ghost explorations over on his YouTube channel. A cry from beyond. Back in the 1960s, yeah, the real. sad oh, story no. of teenager Sylvia Likens was perhaps one of the most tragic events ever to occur in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I won't go into the grisly details of the case, but suffice to say, Sylvia Likens met a horrible fate, sometimes imprisoned in her own home's basement. Sylvia finally lost her life, and the house remains abandoned. In this video, YouTuber Carlos Coy135 and a friend are investigating the Indianapolis home where Sylvia met her tragic fate. She was locked Even in the basement the and died. Notice it, things what? get a bit bizarre almost immediately. Wait, she she was locked in the, the ba her own basement. But this and died. Okay. This is a, this is freaky as hell. I'm not going to Did you see it? When the video is slowed down, you can see that it looks like the curtains on the far left window are pushed back, as if someone is taking a look outside. Oh, they reaching. The house is supposed to be empty. They reaching. They, they, they mad reaching right now. Home, Come on, bro. Their camera catches another strange anomaly. What was the basement like? Where did it... Viewers say that it looks almost as if some misty white shape is peeking from the window. And then rapidly ducks back inside. Um, I don't know. But this is when things get truly bizarre. The guys check out the basement where Sylvia Likens was imprisoned for much of her time in the house. This is the basement. Why was she in the basement? Where the little girl was tortured. Oh, she was tortured? Oh, man. Dude, come here. This is freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That joint trashed. Oh hell no, this picture is serious too. Dude, I ain't fucking. That's a picture of the stairs. You got sort of guy. As they walk away from the basement window, well, just listen closely and see what you hear. I, I ain't hear nothing. I didn't hear anything. Oh wait, no, I thought I heard something now, that some time. claim that they can actually hear screams for help coming from the basement. Here's the clip again with subtitles revealing what many viewers say they hear. So I tried to boost mm. the audio by isolating certain frequencies. I thought I heard help. Since all speakers and headphones reproduce sound so differently, this may sound better or possibly worse, according to your speakers. Yeah, I, th I told you. I thought I, I thought I heard so, help. Yeah. Does Sylvia Likens' ghost haunt this home, or are viewers seeing and even hearing things that? just aren't there i mean it could be fakery you i mean decide. they could have got those people and put them in there the watcher in the window just for the views you know what i mean hearst castle in hampshire england was established in the early 1500s and over its grim 500 year history it served as a formidable english military fort it was also sometimes used as a prison to hold convicts sentenced to death 
So hmm. it goes without saying that the castle has seen some dark and bloody times. Prisons, prisons are always haunted. to have seen ghosts and shadows in its haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long dead monk. Paranormal investigator Tony Ferguson has explored the haunted Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit, he seems to capture something more and more terrifying. On this particular visit, Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle all alone. But for Paul Sissel, it didn't go well. <laughs> what is he doing? He's posing? It's like, yeah, I'm in this castle, buddy. Take a picture of me. <laughs> Why is he just standing there? <laughs> Did he just like still on the actual camera right now? He just gave it a Paul hit. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from the castle. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, oh, come they, on. they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room. They want us to believe that. Castle alcove with one creepy little window that seems to open to nothing. On his next visit, Tony comes alone, determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. He sets up a camera to record and ends up capturing something horrific. What, you're going to pretend you've been possessed? What is that? Come on, bro. That's his partner. He just climbed inside the hole and then he showed his face and then dip back. Bro, that's when Tony reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see a small dark figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the small That's the reflection of the camera. The reflection now, of the camera made his eyes this glow. Could simply be a person standing outside the window. But it turns out that that would be impossible. You see, behind this window there is only a small gap and then concrete. The area behind this window was completely closed off with bricks and cement long ago. Yeah, but the footage so was then cut. So the question is, who or what is this? That's his partner. You decide. Haunted Holiday. Fakery. Now this next clip is just completely random and bizarre. It's not from some old creepy haunted house or any place that would even seem remotely spooky. This video was actually recorded by a Nuke's Top 5 viewer at a random Holiday Inn hotel room in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So a little girl sets up a camera to record herself unboxing her new necklace. And then everything just goes wrong. Oh, the door moved by itself? Oh, okay. In an instant, a bunch of bananas in the hallway randomly fly off the shelf, the door lurches shut, and strangest of all, the bathroom sink turns nah. on full blast <laughs> nah. all mm, by fake. itself. The bananas had a leverage. It was some sort of leverage connected to the door. The banana was the drop. That was the thing that made the actual door close. And she turned the sink off and on. See her hand come up when she came back? She came the back, her hand came up. Recording told she, her she turned the sink off and on. This when the banana the dropped, camera. pulled the door closed. So is this a haunted holiday inn? Is it a hoax? And that's that's fake, bro. Hoax, why does this little girl's startled reaction seem 100% really? real? It's not Let me know her, her reaction? She probably don't know. Behind closed doors. <laughs> Over on the popular Pakistani ghost hunting channel, Wokia Ta, the team investigates a farmhouse that is allegedly haunted by a spirit or demon. While investigating, they begin to hear an odd sound coming from inside one of the empty rooms. Look 
<laughs> what is that, an interrogation room? <laughs> it's like a chair just in a random room with this high ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that about? <laughs> One of the explorers claims he saw something lurking in the corner of the room. Wow. When they check his phone footage, this. What? What's that? What? What the heck? What is that? Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's creepy. That's creepy right Gathering there. Their courage, they head into the room to investigate. No, that is creepy. Something seems to try to lock them inside the room. Yeah, something closed the door. Then right? things really get weird. Whoa. Something trapped them in there? What? Or I would be tripping out right now. Oh my god. What? I don't know. It seemed real. This is if it's if it's if it's fake, it's it's real good bakery in the you know what I'm saying? They whipping up the bakery for the fakery, you know? But no, this look this look look good so far. Something violently shoves open the door, slamming right into the investigator's arm. Later, when they watch their footage of the incident back, they find something that chills them. I just find it convenient that we never actually see... Okay, okay, they caught something. Never mind. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. So did the Wokiata team catch a real ghost or demon on camera? That might be. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It looks like a ghost. You can watch Wokia Ta's full investigation of the haunted farmhouse over on their channel. That's a farmhouse? Oh, that must have been like a slaughterhouse or something like that. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He drops them from Train. extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name it, and Tegrax wow. has probably thrown an iPhone at him. That guy must got money. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50-foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name the Devil's Cauldron. What the? And we made it to the location, you guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig of what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's How hot is that about thing? About 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So you will burn yourself if you try, wow. uh, like taking a dip in here. But it's super sick. Literally in the middle of nowhere. 180 now, the degrees. The first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine, and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. He dropped his phone into this hot spring thing, whatever it is. Devil's Cauldron, I guess they call it. But the second time he drops his phone into the Devil's Cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, 
He's shocked by what he finds. What? That's not like a monster. What? Tekrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, especially since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So, just what do you think this strange sound from the Devil's Cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. Nope. <laughs> you can watch this full video as well as Tekrax's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Followed home. That's wild. Over on the YouTube channel Ashes to Ashes, Dave and his brother Chris explore abandoned and sometimes supposedly haunted houses. In this investigation of a woman who says that she has been haunted by an evil entity that has followed her for most of her life, the guys pick up a very strange EVP. Who's here? He doesn't look like he would be a ghost hunter. Is there anything that would like to, uh, is there anything that would like to, uh, is there anything that would like to, uh, I'm going to ask you to give us a sign up here. Go with him. A creepy little voice seems to say, go with him. And Dave says that he thinks the evil entity in the house might have done just that. Since the investigation, he's heard sounds and voices in his home especially in one particular hallway. And then, one day, his dog begins to act very strange. Who is it? <laughs> the dog like, no, bro. I want no parts of that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Who is it? He's seeing his dog in there. He ain't going in there. He's like, yo, I'm going to send my dog in there. You, you go first, boy. You ain't getting no dinner tonight. <laughs> Who is it? Who's the hell, man? Look, he keeps sending his dog back. <laughs> the dog like, why well, I got to do it? Why are you doing this to me? I'm just a dog. <laughs> That's funny. Did you see it? Oh yeah, in the other room. On the left, no yeah. The Little shadow spirit. Some odd thing with pointy ears seems to be hiding around the edge of a door. And note that when Dave swings his camera back around, whatever it was, is now gone. You can watch all of Ashes to Ashes Paranormal Investigations over on their YouTube channel. I don't know. <laughs> First ghost hunt, last ghost hunt. It might have not been faking. Reddit user Manda Burke and her husband were exploring the haunted Hillview Manor, an old mental asylum located in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. They had bought Pennsylvania. tickets as part of a ghost hunting tour group. That is a haunted place, Manda by the way. They walked around, checked the EVP meters supplied by the tour company, but nothing much happened. Then, they began to hear an odd shuffling sound at the end of one of the halls, but they thought nothing of it at the time. Then, suddenly from the end of the hall, they heard running footsteps charging towards them. Running footsteps? Oh, dang, so the ghost just ran by and pushed them down? Really? Manda says that the whole event was one of the scariest things she's ever experienced. Now, I should note that I don't usually show videos without some visible or audible evidence of the supernatural. But looking at the reaction of this group and seeing just how hard and painful those falls look, I think this is pretty compelling evidence that something came down that hall. 
Yeah, the but ghost just pretty always, much duped him. That's all he did. Just duped him. Side. Hit him with the shoulders and cabin moves. This next clip is from a Chinese ghost hunter named Xiao Long who broadcasts his investigations live on a Chinese streaming service. Xiao Long and his friend are exploring an abandoned building that is said to be haunted by the ghost of a construction worker who lost his life while working on the building. As they begin their investigation, creepy things start to happen immediately. I don't see nothing. Are you guys fakery? Is this fakery in the bakery? I don't know. They might be whipping up some good stuff. One of the explorers swears that he saw a worker dressed in construction clothes walk through the lobby downstairs. Well, he but probably his did. his friend doesn't seem to believe him. He shrugs it off and they continue their investigation. Yeah, the construction worker fell asleep. Yeah, and, and his co-workers forgot him, that's all. Bro. Again, the same explorer claims to have seen someone, but again, his friend thinks he's just being hysterical. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that unlike the Saudi Arabian ghost hunters who pray to ward off evil spirits, the Chinese believe that cursing and acting angry will scare away evil ghosts and demons. And you'll see what I mean. Yeah, what happened? What is that supposed to be? A person? Oh. <laughs> Him screaming alone would have scared me. I'd have been scared just to the screams. <laughs> Damn. See, in China, they'd be cursing the ghosts out. They'd be cursing at him. I don't know, this might not be fakery. It'd be funny, he just came running down the hall. <laughs> the ghosts has come running down the hall. Oh, 
你出来，我操你妈的！门后边有，转。And yet again, one of the explorers sees what looks like a man in a red hard hat peering from behind a door. This time, he even manages to capture it on camera. But yet again, his friend doesn't believe him. That is, until everything suddenly takes a terrifying turn. He up here messing with the man because he fell asleep at work. The man don't want you to tell his boss. He don't want you to tell his boss that he fell asleep at, at the job. Right? He got two ghost hunters waking him up while he sleep. He got to wake up early in the morning, pretend like he just came to work. Wait, y'all is just cursing the ghosts out. Now they running? What, what the bro did he just fall into a hole <laughs> yo <laughs> wait wait he fell into a hole that's like the worst possible thing to do in that whole situation how you fall into a hole <laughs> he had to pull his front out <laughs> as they make their escape the it's like an anime seems to be crashing down all around them <laughs> One of them falls right through an open hole in the floor. <laughs> Luckily, they eventually managed to make it outside the building. We can't see. go on the ghost hunt no more. We done. We ain't doing no more ghost so, hunt together. <laughs> what do you think? Did they catch extreme footage of an angry construction worker ghost I don't know. on their live stream? I don't know. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? No, I think that was real. The way he fell in the hole, I don't know. I don't think people just run and fall in holes. <laughs> Years ago, Tyler Rowe worked in a Kroger grocery store in Powell, Tennessee. He claims that every morning at exactly 9.02 a.m., the staff witnessed this at the warehouse freezer door. Banging on freezer door from inside. Well, let the person out. Well, why you got the person banging on the door? Is there a light? But maybe the ghost didn't want to be in the freezer no more. Y'all locked him in there. He don't want to be in the freezer no more. And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. Tyler says that it was every morning like clockwork. At 9.02 a.m., there was banging on the warehouse freezer, and then the door would swing open on its own. But there was no one inside. So two months ago, someone named Emily claimed in the video's comments that she currently worked at the same Kroger grocery store and that the strange occurrence oh, still Kroger? happened, even though the store had recently replaced the freezer door. She says that the freezer door still slams open and closed all on its own. Look, maybe the ghost just want to, you know, get a little breeze. TikTok, maybe it's too hot, you know what I mean? It's going to cool off Andy a little bit. Andy Kamase is trying to record a video for TikTok when he spots something truly chill. Oh yeah, I've seen this one before. This is crazy. This don't make no sense. Look behind him. Yeah. Like how that thing fit back there? How the little little ghost face fit back there? The face of a little girl seems to be peeking out at Andy from behind his wardrobe. However, when Andy checks the area, no one there. Not only is there no one in the space, but Andy demonstrates in a follow-up video how no one could have even been sitting in this narrow area to begin with. Yeah, that's creepy, bro. I don't know. Voy a aclarar that's real creepy. I don't know about that one. Well, que en esta parte de aquí atrás that probably was the only one I can't say that was fakery. Behind that dresser? Yeah, no. That was too much. Look, look. He's showing you right now. 
Look, ain't, how, how, how a ghost gonna fit behind that? Tell me, please tell me. I mean, how a person, I should say, I know a ghost can fit behind there. But how can a living person? What do you think? Look at it. Is this the ghost of a little girl? Or is it just a very good fake? Let me know down in the comments. The watcher I don't know. I don't and the know. window. Over on the YouTube ghost hunting channel, The Haunted Side, lead investigator Patrick and his cameraman Jason are investigating the supposedly very haunted clean water demon house in Reno, Nevada. According to local legend, many people have lost their lives in the house, and the property is said to have been home to occult activity for years. As Patrick and Jason investigate, they experience many strange occurrences. Region. Ooh, I got Eight. dizzy there for a second. Ten. Central. Oh, it's so cold right here. Yeah, it just got real cold. Ooh. Who's in here? Ambition. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Outlet. As Patrick says, who's in here? Without even noticing, he picks up a small voice, almost like a child, whispering, me. Who's in here? Oh, it whispered. It was like, me. I don't like, for real? What the f***? What the f***? Footsteps right above us. What kind of equipment they be Guys using? Guys hear bizarre noises from upstairs and head up to investigate. As they are checking out the upper floor, That's an old some TV. truly creepy things are happening on the floor below. If you walk closer to this machine right here, it'll let us know that you're there. Can you come just a little bit closer? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Did you see that? They got equipment like the Ghostbusters. After reviewing the footage, we could find no explainable reason that bike should have fallen over, so we decide to regroup and head back upstairs. Upstairs EVP session. Is there somebody up here with me? Whoa! Dude! No, it seemed like it's downstairs. I'm trying to block them in. Is that you? No. What the f But throughout the whole investigation, there is something even more chilling going on. Something that the guys don't even realize. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? Patrick catches an unexplained shadow figure looming in a doorway as if staring out at them. Even more bizarre, they have a second camera filming inside, and as you can see, there's no one there. Feel good. The ghost's like, that? you in my house. Why are you here? <laughs> I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. But it gets even creepier. They don't realize it, but this strange dark figure seems to be watching over them throughout their investigation. I'm gonna move the volume down like a smidgen. Just tell me when. Okay. When it's not feeding back like that. Midgen, just tell me when. When it's not. I saw something. Back I saw something. Like What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. No. Watch the come on. It's full two part investigation no. of the Clean Water Demon House, as well as their other weekly paranormal investigations. Check out their YouTube channel. I don't know. It follows. That could have been fakery. Nuke's top five viewer, MK1, worked overnight security at a brewery. He says that one of his co-workers always claimed to experience spooky occurrences around the factory. But MK1 never believed him. Until this night. On this particular night, his friend says that he felt that something was watching him. Maybe even following him around the brewery as he went on his nightly rounds.
Oh, that's so mad. You can see that the guy checks behind him several times, almost as if he expects to see something there. But as he turns to walk away, that is when some odd misty shape can be seen following behind. Needless to say, after this video, MK1 never doubted his friend again. And also needless to say, they were both chilled to the core by this strange video apparition. Even creepier, MK1 says that soon after seeing this video with his own eyes, even he began to experience bizarre occurrences around the factory. The John Lowe Murder House In 2014, 82-year-old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter Lucy at his family home in Surrey, England. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. Wow. A sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe Murder House. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube Ghost Hunters Proving Demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? The shocking spirit box replies seem to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hold on, hold on. Could it be a car on the road? I she just grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? I don't know, this might be fakery. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I, swear like, I didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my pocket. pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. Come on, that could have just been lighting from the the other light from the other gu the other guy holding the, holding the camera. Come on. Just my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Then. After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, keen-eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen. That could because be edited. being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched. Wow, well, come on. They're trying to see the orb. They're trying to see that orb. But come on, bro. The I orb. Wrong. Really? Let me know what you think. It's perfectly between both of them. That's, that could be an edit. YouTuber Eric Gunner is an urban explorer and occasional paranormal investigator from Mexico. In one of his videos, Eric claims that a girl named Natalie contacted him about some very strange activity in her home. Natalie, who appears in the video with a teddy bear face concealing her identity, says that her mother recently rented the upstairs apartment in their house drew that to face. an elderly woman. <laughs> Natalie that says face, that as soon as the woman moved in, strange things started occurring in their home. They would hear odd noises in the middle of the night. They would find random things move from one room to the other, and they would often smell an unexplained foul stench coming from upstairs. Weirdest of all, cats and dogs in the neighborhood began disappearing. <laughs> As for the old lady, her behavior was odd to say the least. She avoided all contact with Natalie and her family. The woman didn't say hello or even talk to them when they passed her on the stairs. 
If they knocked on her door, she wouldn't answer. Natalie and her family became more and more terrified as the odd noises and events in their house intensified. Then one night, Natalie's 10-year-old sister woke up screaming, saying that her back was in agonizing pain. They checked her and found that her back was covered in deep, Whoa. unexplained scratches. Well, with that, they had had enough. Without even so much as packing a bag, yeah, it's time they fled to move. the house <laughs> in the middle of the night. As of the filming of this video, they had not been back for two weeks. So, Natalie knew about Eric Gunner's YouTube channel. She asked him to investigate. De hecho, si apago la luz, la casa de arriba está prendida. Ahí es donde vive la viejita. Voy a tratar de no hacer ruido para que no me vaya a escuchar. Fíjense que a mí me da más miedo la viejita que no sé, me vaya a parecer un fantasma o algo así. It's fairly obvious that Natalie and her family left in a rush. Se supone que así como dijo ella y esta Natalie pues se fueron de rápido ese día. No recogieron nada. Dijo, pues sí me dijo que iba a haber incluso hasta comida. Hasta frijoles aquí. Ay, güey, mi fue parece como están enlamados. At first, it seems like there's not much to see, just an average empty house. But then things start to get a little strange. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. Did you see it? Well, see what? I didn't either. But watch again. I think I saw a shadow. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. Looks like it's a shadow back there. I don't know. As they, they might be Two reaching. That, that's pointed reaching. out that it looks like a small girl dressed in all white briefly peeks out from behind a curtain. Again, I should note, the house is supposedly empty. That's gonna be fakery. I don't know. Eric spots a doll that seems to be a bit out of place. Little did he know that after the filming, the house's owner would tell him that the doll doesn't belong to them, and they've never seen it. But even creepier, later in the video, Eric passes by the same room again. Right, the ghost brought the doll and put it right there. Uh, really? You went shopping? The ghost went shopping? Did you see it? Okay. As YouTube commenters would later point out, the doll has now vanished. Eric heads into the bedroom to investigate, and... This is when things get okay. truly bizarre. Aquí parece que se puede subir por aquí, pero está como sellado. ¿Qué pedo está esta casa rara? Bueno, está construida raro. ¿Qué es esto? And once again, I have to ask, did you see it? Something ducks out of sight under the bed. Again, Eric doesn't notice. This too was spotted later by YouTube viewers. What? What the same thing happened? Come on. Little girl in a white dress? I don't know, man. Eric gathers his courage and heads back in to check out the curtain. It didn't go well. Why? Because his little cousin is going to get upset? The one that he has dressed up pretend, pretending to be a, a little ghost? As he rounds the corner, a shadowy figure ducks back into the corner of the room. Right. This time, Eric does see it. No sé qué. No sé qué pensar, la verdad, si estoy ya. Tengo miedo. No sé si salió o no. No hubiera venido solo. ¿Saben qué? Si no hubiera venido solo, la cagué bien, cabrón. Okay. 
He heads in to check it out, but nothing there. With this, Eric has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. But that might not be as easy as he thinks. <laughs> right. Yeah, the ghost locked the gate. Really? The ghost locked the gate? Right. I mean, the acting isn't that bad. They're good actors. I'll give them that. Someone in a cloak, presumably the creepy old lady who lives there, comes walking up the stairs. Eric how do they know it's the creepy the old woman? Clear. Then quickly makes his escape out to the street. I mean, he's not running. He seems to be taking his time. So did Eric Gunner catch multiple paranormal encounters on video? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Fakery. Eric Gunner's full investigation I think of this supposedly haunted house. I think it's fake over on his YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. For channel updates and other weird stuff, follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there. I'll see you next week. All right, so that was uh, Nuke's Top 5. Uh, it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, there were some good ones in there. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining me here for the first episode of Boss Reactions, okay? You can also go and visit our gaming channel called Boss Gaming Network YouTube channel. Uh, we basically uh, show some gameplays, a little bit of tournament on there, and uh, we also have a, a series on there uh, where you actually watch us do reviews for video games and such like that. Um, but okay, so back to Boss Reactions. Uh, this is the second channel. Uh, I've been talking about doing this for the past year. Uh, finally got time to actually get it done. I wasn't sure it, what kind of graphics I wanted to put in here, what type of edits I wanted to actually drop on this. Um, I wanted to be a little different from other reaction channels. So, you know, for you guys to enjoy more. So uh, this is something I really enjoy creating. So uh, hopefully uh, we can go ahead and make more episodes. Uh, I, I look forward to dropping the second episode for Boss Reactions. Um, now, uh, if you want to uh, find out the, the links for all the videos that were seen in this episode, uh, just go ahead and look in the description below. Um, at, no, look in the description below. And uh, right here above where you see Goku doing the Ginky Dama. Okay? And uh, go ahead and uh, you can check the links out for each video you saw and see what YouTube channel that is. Also, don't forget to check out Nuke, Nuke Top 5. Nuke Top 5 YouTube channel. Uh, he dropped some pretty in interesting and good material. He's mostly a paranormal station. He does mostly paranormal and like ghost hunter stuff you know for his videos um also if you're interested in like merch you know you want like you know get a t-shirt you know a boss reaction t-shirt some hats uh i'm getting those made as we speak i don't have any done right now but you can if you want one uh just go ahead and uh, send me a message either through uh uh, the channel you see here or oh, actually you can just go through the link in the description you'll see some websites there some contact information emails and such like that um if you want to donate you know kind of help the channel grow a little bit uh you can con get in contact with my cash app i'll drop that down there also as well into the uh actual um donation area also paypal so we'll be using a cash app and a paypal for donations and uh thanks guys thanks for joining me uh here today for uh first episode of boss reactions um very uh happy to, uh, to have uh, done this so uh definitely uh so like i said you know have a nice time uh also and as always uh boss up